I probably average reading about 40 books a year. I probably listen to around an hour of podcasts a day and maybe spend another hour reading blog posts and listening to music. Why do I do all this? Well, first and foremost, I enjoy it, but of course there's an ulterior motive. I want to be smarter, more knowledgeable and more worldly, and I think that learning and understanding new topics is going to help me live a happier life. The issue is that while a lot of this stuff has stuck, a lot of it hasn't. I mean, the human brain is an incredible thing, but it's not a library. It's not a really easy way to categorise and access all the nuggets of wisdom and knowledge that you've learned. But what if you could think of any topic imaginable, say innovation, and immediately have at your fingertips every great quote, every great passage, and every great musical lyric that you've ever listened to or read immediately available at your fingertips? You'd be able to access and use that information in such a powerful way, really helping you to develop knowledge and wisdom. Hey guys, my name's Tom. I make videos on how you can use Notion to solve real life problems. So if that sounds like something you're interested, bang subscribe and you'll be notified when I release new weekly videos. Today we're gonna to be talking through how you can set up a second brain using Notion. First, we're gonna go over the brain dump phase. So this is literally just gathering all of the information and dumping it somewhere before looking at how you can then triage this information into something a bit more useful. Finally, we're gonna look at how you can categorize this and then be able to access it in a way that makes sense to you. I'd usually say jump around, but these steps are sort of sequential, so I'd probably follow it through from the start. Let's get into it. So first things first, we're just gonna to wanna to dump all of the information that we might consume on a daily basis somewhere that we're gonna be able to access and then sort of sort it all out later. We're not really thinking too far ahead in this stage, we're just trying to get this information down. So I have four kinds of media that I consume uh, on a daily basis. I have books, I have podcasts, I have articles, and I have music. And we're just gonna talk through how I sort of categorize each of these different types of media. So for books, articles and podcasts, I actually have the Readwise integration set up for Notion, which I would highly recommend. Honestly, it's going to save you an absolute ton of time. And um, what this does is it automatically captures any information from either my Kindle or podcasts or articles that I'm reading. So for example, if I'm on my Kindle and I highlight a passage, it's then going to send that to Readwise and then Readwise and then going to send that to Notion. And it's all going to be stored in this database here so each different row is a book and I just click into the book and then I can easily see all of the quotes that I've highlighted the same thing as well works with podcasts it integrates with this podcasting app called air and again I can sort of record different notes it's going to send it to readwise and then that's going to send it back into notion I'm actually just going to skim through the whole readwise setup itself because I've actually got another video on that which I'll pin in the comments that you might want to check out but it's just important for you to understand that really you need somewhere where everything that you're being consumed is going to be captured. Now you can easily just set up a database of your own and just manually copy and paste quotes from your Kindle or just type them in from your book. The important thing here is that you just understand that you need to have somewhere where all of this information is going to be accessible. When it comes to music lyrics, and I think this is actually something that a lot of people don't think about uh, putting into their second brain, but I just think there's, there's so much value in, in music uh, lyrics, but that's a, a whole another topic. But there's no Readwise integration for this. So all I do is set up a sort of gallery that has all of my different music albums in there. And then if I hear like a really insightful lyric, I'm just gonna log that into the page itself. And that just means that I've got that accessible. And again, it will be easier to sort of triage it later when we go into the next stage of the second brain. Now a lot of people I think would stop here and say, right, okay, you know, I've got everything, I've got it uh, stored, and if I'm bored or if I need some inspiration, I'll just sort of flip through and see anything that stands out. But I tried this for a few months and I really don't think it's enough. You need a way to group shit. People don't think in terms of books and in terms of songs and in terms of articles. They think in terms of ideas and themes. And that's why I'm gonna spend the rest of the video talking you through how I categorize this information so I've actually got something very useful at my fingertips all the time. And it's not something I've seen anyone really talk about in depth before. So I got this idea of a triage from Ryan Holiday. He uses a physical note card system which he orders by category. 
Every time he reads a book, he makes a note on note cards and then stores them in this massive box. It's a cool system, but come on Ryan, it's the 21st century, surely there's a quicker way. And also, I don't like the idea of all of my stuff being, you know, just in a physical container because if my house burns down, uh, it's not going to be very practical. So now what you're going to want to do is create another table that's separate from your brain dump tables that you've already got. And this is going to become your second brain. And this is going to be, you know, where you turn to for creativity and inspiration. It's going to support you in your decision making. It's really going to become your best friend. The next bit is a bit long, but it's really worth doing. And, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. And the second brain is so powerful that I really do think that it's worth your time. So what you want to do is go into your original brain dump and then pull out sort of key ideas and key themes and key quotes and then take them into your second brain. Don't just copy and paste absolutely everything, it's going to quickly become overwhelming. The idea here is that you want to take things that are sort of real wisdom statements rather than just facts. You know, facts can easily be found online, you can easily Google them. So let's take an example from a really great quote of a book that I just read called Dune. Now what I'm going to do is take this quote from the page of Readwise that's associated with that book and I'm then going to copy it into the title and I'm then also going to copy it into the body of the cell in my second brain. It's going to become apparent why this is the case and why we need to do this uh, later on when we look at the categorization. I'm then just going to bold that text in the body and then write a little comment about the quote itself, something that sort of stands out to me, why it resonates with me, maybe a question I want to ask myself after reading it. I think it's important that you let these ideas sit for a week or two before categorizing them into your second brain because it just gives you a chance to think over them and then you're probably going to come up with something a little bit more insightful than you might have done if you just put it in after reading it straight away. Now just rinse and repeat this really until you've got a load of really great ideas in your second brain. I've also set up here a relational database so I can actually link back from my second brain to where it was sourced in the sort of brain dump itself. And for the Readwise integration, I think this is really useful because I'm not pulling through every quote from the book and I can just then link back to the original page in the Readwise integration and then see all the quotes that I've highlighted. Now this process does take a little while, it probably takes me about half an hour to do per book from start to end, but if you think about it, it's probably taking me about five hours or so to read the book, so I think this extra half hour, it really is a good return on investment. And a little tip here is to, when you're categorizing this stuff, make sure you do it like once uh, every two weeks or once a week, something like that. Don't be doing it every day, batch it up, uh, and then it's gonna go through a lot quicker. And you can probably see here that I've actually got a backlog of like 60 books that I still need to categorize uh, because I only started this sort of second brain process a couple of months ago, but I'm just working through them slowly. There's no rush for me and eventually I'll get there and I should have, you know, thousands of really incredible insights all categorized in the right way. So talking about categorization, uh, I'm just going to talk you through how I do it. To be honest, I don't think there's a right or wrong way uh, and I'm still sort of working out what's the best way for me to categorize all these thoughts. But how I'm doing it at the moment is I'm sort of associating one word that really sort of is the most true word that relates to the quote itself. Um, so for example, I've got things like authority, I've got things like business, I've got things like creativity and innovation. And I'll sometimes assign more than one of these tags to each of the quotes. But the idea is, I don't think it's, it's that important, these tags can be fluid and flexible, but I just need some way to group them so that it doesn't become completely overwhelming. Now the great thing is once you've got things grouped in this way, it can become really easy to filter this information. So I always set up a couple of different views. The first view that I like to have is what I call the note card view, and this is obviously very much inspired by Ryan Holiday. This is just a gallery view, and I make sure that the settings are set so that I can see the body text and that the gallery sort of pictures themselves are actually large. And as you can see here, this just means that I can easily see all of the text for all of the different note cards that I've taken. It literally is just a digital version of a note card. I can then filter by a certain category or by a certain book. So if I have a blog post that I'm writing and I want to bring up something about creativity, I can just 
filter by creativity, see all the different cards that I've got on that subject, and then hopefully find something that is going to inspire me when I'm writing that blog post. The next view that I like to set up is a category view, and this is just grouping all of the different quotes and passages and whatever it might be by the category that they're assigned to. And I've already seen some real use in this. Um, what I like to do actually at the start of the day is just sort of check in with myself, how I'm feeling. Perhaps I'm feeling a little bit impatient, so I'll just scroll through, see the sort of patience category, and then remind myself that you know building things takes time and, and see all of these great quotes that I've got on patience. So I'll just spend a couple of minutes talking through some pitfalls you might want to avoid when implementing a second brain, whether you choose to use this system or something completely different. Uh, the first thing I think is start early. If this is something that you're looking to do, consider it as something that's going to be going on for the rest of your life. And the earlier you start, the better. For me, what makes this project so exciting is the idea that in 10, 20, 30 years, I'm going to have this really incredible system and these really insightful notes and all of this knowledge in one place that's just going to have accumulated over time. And I just wish I'd have started this, you know, 10 years earlier. So if you're thinking at all about doing a second brain, I would absolutely recommend you start it right away. The second thing I think you should look out for is not getting anal about exactly how you construct your second brain. I've outlined a way here that you might want to go about it, it's something that's worked for me, um, but you just need to have a play around with it and think what works for you. At the end of the day, just having your mind, all I want to be able to do here is access relevant information in a really easy way. And that might to you look like something completely different than it looks like for me. I think it's really easy to get caught up in this idea of like, oh I need to do para or oh I need to do this other system to categorize things. I really don't think it matters, you just need to find something that works for you. And finally, and I've sort of already addressed this, but a lot of people will probably be thinking like, is this really worth the time? And for me, you need to think about this in terms of return on investment and think about what you're already putting into consuming the knowledge that you are, whether that be through reading books, listening to podcasts or reading blog articles, and then think, by adding this layer of categorizing all this information, how much value is that adding to what I'm already doing? And what you'll probably come to the conclusion is, is that you'll be like five times in the value that you've got from just reading a book by categorizing it into your second brain. So it's really worth that extra half an hour of work. So thanks a lot for sticking around. If you enjoyed that, I'm gonna leave a video here which goes into a bit more detail about Readwise and how I sort of brain dump all of my ideas. And also just let me know in the comments sort of how you found this. Is this something that you're looking to implement? Have you already got a second brain? What are you using? Be really interested to hear about that. So thanks a lot and enjoy the rest of your day.